Many people ask what is the future of cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is still a relatively new part of information technology and has changed dramatically in recent years as it has been recognized as a separate discipline within IT security. What is the future of cybersecurity? More of our personal lives and business activities are being conducted online than ever, making cybersecurity a key issue of our time. Understanding what the future of cybersecurity is will show you how to make the best use of your resources and stay safe not just today, but tomorrow too. The future of cybersecurity is hard to predict because the industry is constantly evolving in response to the shifting behaviors of cyber criminals and the new attacks they develop. For example, the number of global ransomware hacks increased by nearly 25% between 2019 and 2020, prompting cybersecurity developers and businesses to create new software to counter the trend. Nobody can tell exactly what the next major cyber threat will be or where it will come from, but experts still have a good idea of the general direction that we are heading in, although tomorrow is never certain. Paying attention to the cybersecurity predictions listed below will help you to future-proof your business and other online activities. So, what is the future of cybersecurity? Here's what the future of cybersecurity will look like. Number 1. Artificial intelligence will be a core component of all cybersecurity systems. Over the last few years, artificial intelligence has, as a technology, come to fruition in many industries. Today, AI and machine learning algorithms can be used to automate tasks, crunch data, and make decisions far faster than a human ever could. However, new technologies, including AI, inherently create cybersecurity risks as potential exploits are poorly understood at the time of release. This means that, with more organizations relying on machine learning for mission-critical operations, AI systems are sure to become a major target for hackers. In response, future cybersecurity software and personnel will be forced to develop techniques to detect and counteract AI corruption attacks. AI won't just change the cybersecurity world by giving hackers a new way to get to target organizations. Though, cybersecurity developers will themselves use AI to address vulnerabilities, detect security issues before they can be taken advantage of, and repel cyber attacks once they've begun. Future developers may, for example, embed AI in user interfaces to warn people about risky websites or poor quality security choices. AI may also be used to create simulated network attacks, revealing any weak points so they can be patched. Number 2. The cybersecurity industry will focus on cyber warfare threats. Over the course of the last decade, the world saw an uptick in state-run or state-sanctioned cyber warfare. This trend began in 2010 with Stuxnet, a worm implanted on Iranian uranium centrifuge computers to trigger equipment failure. By 2017, Sandworm, a Russian-backed hacking group, was boldly going after a broad range of targets, from American corporations to Eastern European energy grids. Many now believe that cyber warfare, where one nation hacks or embeds viruses in the computer systems of another, will become the frontier on which wars are fought around the world. Small nations and emerging economies may well turn to this avenue if they don't have the resources or political support to get involved in traditional conflicts. In the future, cybersecurity businesses will have to find ways to make key pieces of infrastructure, those which would make appealing targets during a cyber war, more resilient to digital intrusions. This work could include adding multiple layers of security to traffic systems, airport management networks, and hospital databases. Number 3. There will be more hackers to deal with. According to a study carried out by a Michelle Kukier, a University of Maryland researcher, computer hacks have become so frequent that they are now occurring, on average, every 39 seconds. The majority of cyber attacks are done using automated scripts that crawl through databases and digital addresses, searching for vulnerabilities to exploit. Each attack script has to be written by a tech-savvy person, and there's good reason to believe that the number of people with the skills and motivation to run them will grow in the future. In developing countries, education standards are improving, 
creating a massive expansion of the tech workforce. Sadly, in many areas where this is the case, there aren't sufficient jobs for these trained workers, causing them to turn to cybercrime or hacking instead. Number 4. Developing cybersecurity talent becomes essential. With cyber attacks growing in frequency year on year, companies are having to spend more than ever on protecting themselves. Current projections suggest that the global cybersecurity market will be worth around $40 to billion in 2020 alone. However, there's only so much that paid for software can do to protect businesses. Larger security spends don't achieve anything unless protective applications are implemented and run by someone with adequate information security skills. The problem is that there's actually an enormous shortage of workers with such skills at the moment. A study by the Global Information Security Workforce estimates that, by 2022, the gap between open positions and qualified personnel will widen to almost a million jobs. In this environment, it will be expensive and difficult for companies to hire the cybersecurity experts they desperately require. Prudent organizations will, therefore, invest heavily in InfoSec training for their current workers. Already, numerous ethical hacking courses, like Cybrary, are available so that it professionals can become white hat hackers. Number 5. Legacy tech will continue to be an issue, as highlighted by 2017 Seconds Wanakry ransomware attack which infected over 200,000 computers running older versions of Windows in 150 countries. Legacy systems present a major cybersecurity risk. The reasons for this are numerous. First off, there's little motivation for manufacturers to continue releasing security patches for out-of-date systems, even when new vulnerabilities become common knowledge. Then there's the problem of legacy dependencies, whereby a secondary piece of legacy tech, which a piece of hardware or software can't be run without, introduces its own security vulnerabilities. Despite this, companies around the world are continuing to expose themselves to cyber risk by continuing to use vulnerable legacy technology. Usually, this is done to save money or because the business doesn't recognize the security benefits offered by upgrading. In the future, there's no reason to believe this won't still be a problem. In fact, it might well get worse. Many companies and consumers are perfectly satisfied with the performance of their current generation servers, desktops, and smartphones. When today's cutting edge turns into tomorrow's legacy, a large proportion of them won't want to upgrade, and hackers are sure to take notice. Cybersecurity businesses and professionals need to be prepared for that. Number 6. Increased Automation technology to be able to perform efficient cybersecurity tasks. It's simply the result of scale. Successful cyber will always boil down to people, skilled human minds playing the role of either the cat or the mouse. But there are too many things to watch, too many threat variants, too many vectors, too many targets that must be simplified. Today, we're already using machine learning and artificial intelligence to help make sense of all that noise before it gets presented to human security professionals. Computers have limitations, and attacks are aware of this. It's a very common tactic among hackers to create diversions, filling security analyst screens up with red herrings or maybe just bogus events. Eventually, even the best analysts, armed with the best tools, will get overwhelmed. The cloud has helped a lot in this area. It's improved the ability to scale and lower the cost. Quantum computing will also play a major role, helping sift through complex scenarios and detect or predict even faint traces of a threat. Ultimately, cybersecurity defense and depth strategy will not go away. Organizations will never have one silver bullet to completely reduce the risk of a cyber attack, but rather multiple technologies and processes in place to help ensure those threats are minimized. Number 7. Secure Remote Access The recent shift to remote working is causing the need to guarantee security of remote access. Companies must rethink their security plans around a highly distributed infrastructure. Meanwhile, attackers are evolving their approach, finding ways to target employees who are working in isolation, but still connected into the corporate network. In operational technology, 
The best practices that have existed for decades have prepared the cybersecurity industry for keeping critical tasks completely and physically separated. For example, a critical remote worker might have a unipurpose laptop that is only capable of performing a single task and won't have access to email, social media, or any public network connections.